Hey everyone, welcome to Sound Design Recipe Book Volume 3. And in this one, we're going to be talking about drums and a little bit of vocals. We're going to get started with tricks for building drums. Uh, we're going to start with our drum sounds. We've got a video on uh, snares, a video on kicks, and a video on hats, and uh, specifically some ways of mixing up your drum sounds to make them sound a little more, give them a little more life. Uh, make them sound a little more natural, less robotic. Then we're going to move on. We're going to talk about the 808, the classic 808, and how to reproduce 808 sounds. Then we're going to work on drum fills and processing. So we're going to talk about taking something like a drum loop, adding some processing to it, chopping it up a little bit to make it your own. And then the last thing is I decided to kind of smash some vocal tricks into this class also. So we're gonna talk about some things you can do with vocals. Uh, in one video, we're gonna take a, a vocal sample and cut it up and make it into drums, basically. Uh, in another one, we're just gonna make it sound pure evil. And in a third one, we're gonna chop it up and do some processing to it. So some really fun stuff. Now this class works the same as the other recipe book classes in that we're gonna have, you're not gonna hear from me a whole bunch in this class, we're gonna have a whole bunch of other sound designers in here who are going to be giving up their tricks and walking you through how to build their favorite casserole. Not casserole, but their favorite sound, but they're gonna lay it out like, here's how I built this sound. Turn this, set this to that, set this to that. So it's very, mu it's very much like a recipe kind of thing. That's why I'm calling it a recipe book. So. Uh, we're going to hear from some amazing sound designers in this class, so please jump in. Let's get right to it. What we need to do right now to this sine wave is to give it a transient. And the way we do that is to make it go from a high pitch to a low pitch very quickly. And how we can do that in Massive is we're going to map this uh, pitch parameter to this envelope. All right. So that's the loop. Now we're going to go ahead and peel back the layers. Here's just the snare. The technique I want to show off today is how I do resampling to do reverse and chopped drum hits at certain moments. Um, let's listen to it a little bit and notice that my drum tracks are both in this drums bus. We can see that the sound we're working with is located on this track. This track is an audio track and I can see the recording of the voice as it spans across the arrangement here. Let's solo that sound so we can hear it in more detail. Like, this is 